Hi there, welcome back to my channel. And today I am making some fun wood trays. These are just out of scrap wood. And you can see here I'm sanding. I apologize for this video. I was in my garage and it's just kind of um, blurry, it looks like, but you can still see what I'm doing. I had a piece of board that was a one by eight and I cut them, I was able to get three 24 inch pieces out of that. So I sanded them down with the sander and then on two of them I wanted to use like for Thanksgiving. So I'm using this wood stain and I'm staining the sides and the bottom of these trays. So first I am brushing on this and I love this red mahogany. It turns out to be such a nice color. And then I'm gonna wipe off the extra stain on the sides. And then I'm gonna set those aside and let those dry. So I did two of those. And then the third one, I wanted to have a Grinch, Christmas Eve Grinch tray. So I'm using this white paint from Rust-Oleum. It's their chalked paint. And I'm painting the bottom and the sides of this one with the white. I love these wood trays. I see them all over Pinterest and I just, I think they're so great. I've made one before if you can um, check out my channel on, it's a, it says let's eat and it's a big long like table runner for, that's wood. Okay, so now I sanded that down some more and now I'm going to use my chalkboard paint and paint the tops of all three of these trays. And I wanted the chalkboard paint because I think it's fun to um, use that and write the name of the cheese or the cupcakes or whatever you're doing on your trays. I think that's fun to write that on there. I am going to use some vinyl on these. You'll see that later, but there is enough room on these two uh, serving trays to be able to use chalkboard or chalk and write things on there. So there's the sides with the stain, and that's the top. It looks so light because the, the lights in our garage are really bright. Okay, so now I cut out some designs, and this is actually the Grinch tray that I'm laying out how I want everything to go. You've seen those Santa trays for Christmas Eve to leave snacks for Santa. I have a Grinch theme, so this is my Grinch version of that to leave snacks for Grinch and hope that he does not steal Christmas. So it says, please, Mr. Grinch, don't steal Christmas. And then I'm leaving him um, a Who Pudding snack, Who Pudding for you, and a little treat for Max, his dog. And these are some arrows that I'm trying to figure out where I want the arrows to go. Once I got everything kind of laid out the way I wanted it, then I started um, placing my designs. These designs, um, the Grinch one is actually for sale in my Etsy shop. I will have that up there. And the other one is um, in my resource library for free. So I will leave some links to those in the description. So just using the transfer tape to transfer the design after I've cut it onto the wood tray. And it stuck really well. I was actually kind of surprised that it stuck so well over the paint. And of course you can put anything on these trays. They're so fun. Once, if you just have some scrap wood, which is what I had, um, yeah. And the vinyl I'm using is from Style Tech Craft. It's my favorite vinyl. I'm using a matte white, and then I have glossy for the green and the red. 
Okay, so now I can start putting down the design for his snacks. So that's where the bowl of pudding will go. And then can't leave a snack for Grinch without leaving a snack for his dog Max. So a little dog bone. And then an arrow for that one. And I think I did this design. It's kind of busy, but all these Santa trays are, I think are kind of busy. So I think it turned out really cute. So these are the other trays that you can use for any event. I will probably use them for my Thanksgiving dinner because I always host Thanksgiving at my house. And this one says finger foods. I think the designs I have are finger foods, cheese please, eat, drink, and be merry, and then drink, something about drinks, I can't remember what I even designed, it was a while back. Okay, so once I get this on there, you can see that the F and the G and the other F are hanging over the edge. I wanted it to be closer to the edge, so I trimmed these off. You could just place them, kind of fold them down, or you could place them higher on the tray, but I wanted to leave room for plates and stuff to go on there and still see. And I'm kind of one of those people who I like things to go off the edge of the paper or the tray or whatever it is. So there's cheese, please. That one looks a little better because it's just the pea that's going down over the edge and I cut off. But I still like the way these turns out. And if you guys don't want to cut your designs off, you don't have to. So we added handles. And I got these handles at a garage sale. And they're actually kind of weird because you... Um, have to screw them in from the back So now I have these little screws that are sticking up. We couldn't countersink them because they were too long So what I did to compensate for that and I think it's just a good idea Anyway to have if you're putting this on a wood table is to have these little felt pads on the back so these kind of like they go on the bottom of, of stools or chairs so I put them on the bottom and they actually ended up being a really good idea. So here's my cheese please all set up like I will do on Thanksgiving. And my finger foods has crackers on it. And then I got, um, so that's my buffet table for both of them sitting there and I think they just turned out really cute. And then here's some little treats for Max and the pudding for the Grinch. Thanks so much for watching you guys and have a good day.